Hey everyone. Uh, so as as I promised you, uh, I'm gonna start recording video number two or the second video of the series. Um, so I've split up uh, this the first section into subsections, as you can see here. Uh, basically eight sections. Um, so I've got uh, I've been requested to do not waste time into the intro. Induction to Python, so we are not going to, to waste time in this section. I'm not gonna cover all this stuff in details, but um, and I will uh, ignore the history section. So I, but I highly recommend you, my friends, to visit uh, to watch all these videos. This is the first series I highly recommend to watch by John Hammond. This is a very powerful series that um, the guy has gone through. Uh, the very details on how to create, uh, for example, maximum value function, um, the power function, sum function, the range function, sorted function, string center, string capitalized. So these functions, all Python functions, actually are going to be covered in this series. Okay, you are going to learn how to develop uh, all these um, functions. This is a very powerful um, channel. Another channel that I highly recommend is SendDax. SendDax. This is a very powerful channel, the best I ever seen um, that talks about Python. Um, so you can go ahead and check it out. And another channel is NetPound channel. This is my friend Leon. So thank you, Leon. Um, so he has recorded some useful series. Like um, here we have Android audio recorder tutorial, um, Python and packets, um, as well as uh, we have KP. Okay, um, the nmap on Android. Uh, so, Scapy Kiwi tutorials. There's 22 videos here. So, you're you're gonna learn a lot of stuff here. Okay. Um, so, what I'm gonna do here, I am going to show you how to develop this tool, IP Checker. Um, this is the link of the tool, and you can actually go ahead and do pipe search if you have a Linux box. And with pipe install or pipe install or pip command, so we're gonna do pip search um, ip checker, and as you can see here, um, check if ip is private, public, or invalid. So it's already installed in my system. In order to install it, you can type in pip install ip checker, and it's gonna be installed in your system. So you can do Python here, and we are going from ip um, checker. Um, I am going to import um, IP uh, checker. We're going to create the object. The class object is equal to IP checker. And the object accepts the IP address. For example, 4.2.2.2.2. And O dot, if we do it against O, as you can see here, it contains a couple of functions. So is let's check if this is a valid IP address. Indeed, it is a valid IP. Let's check it if it's um, private. It's false. It's not private IP. Indeed. Let's check if it's public. Indeed, it's not. It's a public IP address. So I'm going to show you how to decode this program. And throughout this tool, you are going to learn the basics of Python. Okay. Um, so the tool is pretty flexible. You can go ahead and download it. Okay, you can go ahead and download it, and I'm going to show you how to code this code, this uh, little tool in details. Um, but before, let me show you another tool here. So this program has been created for the purpose of blocking stuff on Juno's firewalls, on Juniper firewalls, using the host intrusion detection uh, OSAC. Okay system which is OSAC. So once the 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 malicious or once the attack has been discovered, for example brute forcing attack or something like that, has been discovered by OSAC, OSAC would actually perform an active response uh, calling this script and this script actually would accept uh, the action from OSAC and the IP address from the OSAC server and it would actually block the IP address on the firewall for a given time okay for example 10 minutes by default so I am going to uh, code this software or this tool with you and this program includes the valid IP the check if private and the public it contains 
the same functions of the IP checker, okay? So let's go ahead and fire up a Python interpreter and start talking about these tool. So let's try to actually ignore these sections. We are going to talk about all these sections in this uh, video. So you are not going to get bored, okay my friends? So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, actually I am going to import some modules. So from sys I'm going to import um, argv. So I'm sorry, Python. Okay, um, from from sys I'm going to import argv. So from the sys class I am going to import only the argv um, function because if we do for example os or um, from for example from OS import system system we are going to for example execute a command here called ls okay let's execute the command ls or um, pwd okay so as you can see here the pwd output is as follows so from the OS module or class, I am going to import only the sys method. So, but if we we are going to import the uh, the whole uh, module actually, and we dirt against it, as you can see here, we are going to import a lot of stuff. So it is useless. Okay, we are going to import only what we need. Okay, so from the sys, I am going to import the argv in order to parse arguments. Um in order to pass arguments so for example what are arguments so for example let's assume that we have a the ls commands minus l minus um, r for recursion minus h for home and readable these are arguments okay for example these are argument minus default directory as you can see here these are the arguments so we are going to use this module to parse arguments okay so from sys import argv um, I am going to import from time import um, import c time so the c time actually returns the current time but if we take a look on we tell for example var log um, auth for example as you can see here the log format is a little bit different this is the the c time provides us the the day but here it's not provided the day the day has hasn't been provided but what i'm gonna do here i am going to provide the same time or syslog format syslog time format um in this tool so here you are going to i'm gonna explain this line okay formatting time according to syslog time because OSAC wouldn't be able to parse um, the time if it's not based on um, you know syslog um, time formatting it, 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 you, you have to create your cost your own decoder your own rule etc um, so let's proceed our work that's how to import module on the Python and that's how to call the function um, so let's go ahead and import from RDM module, which is the regular expression module. We are going to import defined all. Okay, defined all. And here actually I'm trying to import a module, a third party module. The Paramico is a very powerful module that is used to interact with SSH uh, services. Um, so you can create your SSH client or SFTP client and you know go ahead and connect to the SSH server and, ex and execute a couple of commands. So what I'm gonna do here, if the Paramico hasn't been uh, isn't installed on the system, I am going to import the OS from the OS module. I'm going to import the system as exact CMD. So we are going to call the system or alias it. We are going to alias it as uh, exact command. And we are going to execute a Linux command apt get install y python paramico and we are going to redirect everything um, to the dev now so we don't see errors or standard outputs. Um, so let me import these and the reason why I am 
I didn't import the parameter module directly. I've told you why because I only need these functions, these methods. So um, there's no need to waste or uh, uh, there's no need to import other useless methods. Um, so from socket, I'm gonna import the timeout. This is not actually important. Uh, I've used it only for um, you know for as you can see here for exception handling except timeout so if we haven't been able to connect to the SSH server a, a, a timeout is raised so I can actually log it anyway so let's proceed that's how to declare variables so the first parameter um, is action okay the action is arg v number one okay is arg v number one so my friends, what about creating a, a, a file here? So let me do test.py and first of all I am going to tell it the shebang, so for example here which interpreter to be used bin in Python okay I'm going to tell it that I am going to use Python and I am going to import everything in here okay I'm going to import everything in here as I showed you before okay so or you can since we are sure that the parameter is available we are going to import import it directly so actually here we can define um, some um, like argv1 the first uh, parameter the user is equal to argv2 and the IP is equal to um, argv3 okay so I am going to print out print out the action plus uh, the user plus the IP okay or let's print out the IP and then the user let's customize the okay um, let's customize it so user percentage s uh, which is stands for the string formatting is trying to access to access percentage s but has been percentage s so here I am going to call the first uh, string character which is the user okay the second one is IP and the third one is the action and let's actually save the file and try to execute it uh, using the action drop and the the user is Ahmed and the IP address is as follows um, 2530 for example as you can see here user Ahmed is trying to access the given IP but has been dropped okay or dropped okay um, we are doing a nice job let me check time so that's all for this video uh, I'm going to proceed um, explaining this tool in detail so you're gonna understand the basics of Python thank you